Hi, my name is Dorothy Okech and I'm from Botswana. I was at the University of Wisconsin Stout in the field of business and entrepreneurship. Since I got back from the fellowship and I engaged in um, the Africa-based opportunities that were there for me, I've seen so many significant changes in my life. But I'd like to point out how they have really helped me to get to where I am today. Um, when I got back, I got a mentor. Uh, his name is Kojo Paris, based in Johannesburg, South Africa. and. I shared my LDP with him and through that LDP he was able to help me identify which parts I really need to focus on and how to get there. For example, I have a plan of having a fully fledged uh, rehabilitation center, drug and alcohol rehab, which is in Botswana because as of present we do not have one of those in Botswana. So you find that people who are addicted to alcohol and drugs in the country are kept in the psychiatric hospital or in hospitals for the weekend and then they're released back home or they came to South Africa and they get treatment, but when they go back home, they do not have support buddies and hence they relapse. So we were looking at how to get to that. And my mentor helped me realize that first I need to register and have a consultancy in the country where I've started giving um, counseling to people who are addicted to alcohol within the country. And this consultancy, it's not an NGO, it's for profit. Seeing as I was in business and entrepreneurship, I realized that I actually am a social entrepreneur and I do not need to go the NGO route to be able to help people. And then I got an opportunity to do my professional practicum here in South Africa with an organization called One. At One, I was exposed to different ways of doing things. I was exposed to their advocacy. I was exposed to project management. I was exposed to the values that an organization should have, how they should have their strategic uh, plans in place. And after my practicum, going back to Botswana, I was able to incorporate this in the new job that I have, helping the organization put a board together. And I took elements of this and in my consultancy as well, you find that I'm able to help other organizations set up their own boards. Other organizations come up with strategic um, plans. So you find that the whole experience afterwards has led me to a point where now my consultancy is working towards becoming a fully fledged a rehab, even though now I'm already doing the counseling and the trainings and teaching people how to, how to do strategic plans there's that whole element of education innovation social entrepreneurship business for-profit business that I am doing and I can credit all this to my experience with the Africa based programs that were provided to us through the fellowship the most significant thing for me is having something that I call my own I've always wanted to have to to own something but now I've been guided through the mentor and through the practicum to actually establishing my own consultancy. I've been guided on, on, on how to set up systems within my consultancy. I've been guided on how to be able to give assistance to other organizations and how to put a price on my worth. These are things that I may have done before for free, you know, like, okay, let me just help you out. Even with my motivational speaking, I find that I've had a lot of calls to speak, but now I'm able to attach a price tag to that so that I do not sell uh, myself cheap, but I'm able to also value myself and people can value what it is that I am giving them so that that's the most significant thing that growth into being a business owner and an impact maker at the same time